Hello, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the post install configurations. The first thing to do is to install the guest editions CD so that you can get full screen and also so that you can create shared folders. So the way you do it is as shown here. Click on the devices, the devices menu on top here and then scroll down to insert guest edition CD image and click on it. After you have clicked on it, you will go through the process of installing the guest edition CD and you will see all these things scrolling through your terminal. So just let it complete its installation. It might take a few minutes. So now you can reboot after it has finished installing. So just click power off and restart. Now we are going to create the shared folders. Click on settings. And then select the store, select the shared folders. And click on the icon on the right to open the add share. Scroll down to navigate to a folder that you wish to share. This will be the folder where you exchange files between the Remnox and Windows host. So I've created a Linux share in the C drive and I click it auto mount. Click OK. Now you have full access to the folder and you can start your Remnox. Now that you have installed the guest edition CD, you can click on view and go to full screen. And you are now in full screen. To see your files and folders, you can click on the activities on the top left corner and you will see a menu bar on the left. You can click on it to navigate to your file structure, folder structure and you will see that there is a SF, there is an SF Linux shared folder but you cannot access because you haven't added the user as a member of the group which can access this shared folder. So the next step is to create an add -in the existing user to this uh, SF Linux shared folder and I'll show you how to do that now. So open a new terminal. On the left you can see the new terminal and navigate to the media folder cd forward slash media and list it and you will see the SF Linux shared folder is there. So you need to add the current user to the group called VBOX SF. This is VBOX SF. So to do that, you use the sudo command add user and then the environment variable user dollar sign user which refers to the logged in user and the group vbox sf. Then hit enter and you will add this command will add the add the current user to the vbox sf group so that the current user can and we'll be able to access the shared folder. The next thing to do is to upgrade the your Remnux. So the command to do that is Remnux upgrade. And it will then go down and go and download the latest version. And it will go and download the latest version and update your your Remnux to make it current. This might take a long time, so you need to let it run on its own and go and grab some coffee or tea. Once you have finished upgrading, the next thing to do is to update. So there are two different things here. Yeah? So in this video, we are next now we are going to do the update. So the update is to to update it. Just type remnux update, and this also might take a long time. Okay, now it's finished updating. So now you can reboot it. So go ahead and reboot it first. After rebooting, you need to take a snapshot. Or don't reboot yet, just shut it down first. So now you take a snapshot. Go to the Take a button, click on it, and give it a name. Upgraded and updated. 
and the date that way you have a record of what version is this so let's click ok once you have taken the snapshot so this snapshot is very important because after every malware analysis session you need to revert back to this snapshot